Hello my loves and welcome back and if you're new here then thank you for joining me. My name is Dai and I'm here at Creative Karma Design and what we're going to do today is a spread for my wellness planner. Now I did get a new wellness planner with a vertical layout but I want to start that in April. I kind of feel like I have to finish off the month for some unknown reason. So I'm stuck with the color block layout for this week. But what I wanted to do was I recently did a spread for my catch-all planner that used some of the stickers in the teacher and the student books. And what I noticed in these was that they have some of these pinks, some of like these deep kind of um, deep rosy pinks and the yellow that kind of matches these colors. So I'm thinking of bringing those in and just showing you how you can use the teacher and the student books to coordinate with any spread. They don't have to be for the specific theme that the books are supposedly about. So that is the plan for today. I'm going to bring in my guide here and this is I've decided I'm just going to stick the stickers on and that it's just a good way for me to kind of play around with where the sticker is going to go before I actually put it down on the page. But the first thing that we need to do is to get my book out, go to wellness and get us some hydration stickers. Because always going to use my hydration stickers. I'm just going to put them on the back of my hand for now. So we need seven of those. And I may pull in some of the stickers from there that I've already printed out, but we'll see. All right, so I'm just going to put these down. And for a change, I might put them down at the bottom. So I know I've mentioned this before, but guys, if you're doing a wellness planner, make sure that it's for stuff that you care about. Don't be influenced by other planners and what they're tracking. Track what you want to track. If you don't want to write in the meal planning and stuff like that, then you don't have to. Don't feel that you have to do it the way that someone else is doing it. Your planner is your planner, friends. I personally choose to track just my hydration and I only track the food type that I've eaten. So I'll just put a quick, I had toast and jam or tacos or insert, you know, lasagna, went out for dinner, whatever. I, I kind of just put an overall of what we've eaten because for me, the food is about health and wellness not about calories and stuff like that. I'm not interested in my calorie count. What I'm interested in is how I feel after I've eaten the food that I've taken. So if I know that Friday I feel like crap, then well, what did I eat the days leading up to that? Was I eating junk or was I eating real food? All right, so I know I need a box for Thursday. I have an appointment on Thursday. What I'm also going to do is I'm gonna white this little bit out because I do not like that bit. And I just have an old sticker sheet here just so that I can run off the edge of the page and not worry about it going on to my desk when I wipe that out. And I'm just erasing that to get a little softer edge. All right, so that is a start. We've got a hydration. I need something here for a box for Thursday and I need markers for my lunch, dinner and snack. So let's see what we have to use as lunch, dinner and snack. I mean, I could pull in all of the colors and use these. All right, so those are an option. So let's put those to one side and see how we feel about that. Let's look what else we've got in the student book. Are there any other things in here? All right, I don't think I see anything in there. I do have the other teacher book. Let's have a quick look. The other thing I did think about was bringing in these, but I don't know. I have an idea for that I want to use these for, and I'm kind of loath to use them in case I want to use them for the spread that I have in mind. Isn't that always the way with planner spreads, though? There's always creativity happening. So I could use these too. How many of those do I have? So I used the yellow and the pink. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hmm, tempted.
I know it sounds odd, <laughs> but I'm thinking about these. I'm wondering if I can make these work. I mean, it's weird, but let's face it, I'm weird. I might want to do that, you know, I don't know. I feel like this is the safe option. And my plan for this spread was to show you how you can use other ways to use your stickers. So I think I'm going to go for this and just cut these up. The question now is, do I want all of the pencils to line up or do I want pencils, rubber, rubber, we call those rubbers in England, eraser, pencil, eraser, pencil, eraser, or do I want pencil, eraser? I think my brain is saying this way. I think we're going for that. So do not be afraid of cutting your, your stickers up. If they don't fit for how you want to use them, cut the suckers up. Of course, I still have to think about something for my water icon and for snack, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. And at the end of the day, I do have a ton more of these that I could use. And we've bought in some gold too. Now we've bought the pencils in. I feel like I need to bring the pencils in up here somewhere. So I'm just looking for something that would go. All right, so I just got this book out. This is the other teacher book. Um, got pencils here. Got this little art thing here we could bring in. Maybe we'll put those on. I feel like it's going to be weird if I put a continuous line of those on. Mm, maybe not. Maybe not. Although I have it. Maybe I'll put them in here. I could use those stars. Oh, I keep looking at this, so I'm just going to use it and just put it here. I might want to put some on top of it though. So what I'm going to do is put it on here on my sheet and then figure out about other stuff. So let's have a little notes thing there and a box to go there. All right, I'm going to bring in that yellow quote. Don't stress. <laughs> that can definitely go on there. Let's put that on there too. me time. I love some of the stuff in these books. It's seriously so cute. Oh, that one will go perfectly. Yes, please. I might put that in the sidebar. So I might have to bring in some stuff from the other productivity books, but we've made a start. What I'm thinking is of layering that there. Maybe. See, now I've changed my mind. I want to put that down here. Okay. Making a start. What I need is a pair of scissors because this, um, what do you call this? Sidebar is smaller than the one and a half inch boxes. It's one and a quarter inch. So I'm going to trim this down a little bit and I'm just eyeballing it. I'm not doing it fancy with anything. I'm just eyeballing it. I'm going to put that back there in case I want to use it for anything else. And I'm going to put that there. 
So this is my thing. If I use these, are they going to fit in here? Because like I said, this is shorter to narrower. Where were they? These might actually fit because they're smaller. Mm, no, no, they're not. But I could put them that way. You know what? I remember seeing something in the productivity books and I was like, what am I going to use those for? I feel like that has the same vibe and that might be from my box. So I'm going to put that there. What I'm looking for is a to-do box for the sidebar, like this one, but not in that color. And if it, that's all I have, then that's all I have, and I'm happy with that, that's fine. So I was thinking about oh, incorporating these, especially the gold ones now. I've brought in a little bit of the gold here. I often feel like I just want to rip the pages out, but then at the same time, I want to keep everything together. So it's a struggle remembering where things are. And these are new books to me. Ooh, these are new books to me, so I could cut one of these down. The problem is if I do that, I'm going to lose some of the word. I'm loath to do that, whereas this doesn't have the word on the top. But if I put that there, there's a lot of pink in the sidebar. There's a lot of pink in that sidebar. And these are going to be too wide. Yep. Just slightly too wide. All right, where were those weird ones with the weird edges? You'll know the ones I mean when I get to them. those. Because if I turn those that way, they will kind of fit. So what I'm thinking is I put one there and then that box ends up going here. The notes thing will go there and then the to-do list here. Yep. Shape it up. All right. So first things first, put that down pick that up because we're going to have to cut that and make it shorter. So for this one, because I want it narrower to fit the one and a quarter inches rather than the one and a half inches, if I take it off just this side, I'm going to be left with the black butting up to this side, but not this side. That will annoy me. So I'm going to take a little bit off each side because I'm extra like that. I'm not extra in any other way except for the way of matching and Symmetry and balance. But now I feel like I want that there. But we're going to put it here. Notes. Yep. Okay, perfect. That bit came together quite quickly. I mean, I still haven't got a marker for here, but I could use more pencils and erasers if I wanted to. Okay. Let's get back on track. I feel like I just want to put that here, but I'm going to leave a little bit of a margin around the edge so it's not straight up in the corner. And I've got a weekend thing somewhere. There we go. Weekend vibes. That is going to go here. But purely because if I put it here, that pink is going to get washed out, whereas here it's a little more poppy. Got a little more punch to it. And it brings some of the pink down. So when you have a color block layout like this, and you have this mustardy color here and the pinks on the top, what you're going to try and do is flip those. So you bring more of the yellow up here and more of the pink down here. So that is a little tip for you. I've got to say, I do like these productivity stickers. What I don't like is this layout, the way that it's um, formatted. Completely different sizes to the other 
spreads on the other boxes. Ooh. Okay, put these down. Put those down. So I'm just getting sidetracked looking at everything now. Um, no, there's only six. So I've seen these and there's only six that are going to match the spread. So never mind. I might put these down for the water. If they'll go. If I feel they go. Yeah, they do. Okay. All right. I like that. That goes. That matches. Okay. Let's pop back into the teacher books and look for those name stickers. Okay. So what I did with these, um, so these just say like, hello, I'm, and you're supposed to write your name in here. That's the way that it's supposed to be. Um, but you can put, hello, I'm tired. Hello, I'm bored. Hello, I'm over this wellness layout planner spread and I want to go to a dashboard or a vertical. I'm going to vertical. But what you can also do is you can cut it and just take it off completely. And then you're left with a box. And what I might do, hmm, I feel like I want to put that in there and have it as a little bit of pencil washy. Don't know. Don't know. Let's just go with that. Or I could put one of those pencils there. Oh my gosh. Where were they? Where were they? There was one. That was one. Well, where was the other one there? There was another one somewhere. Another page of them. All right, we're going for that one then. All right, I'm taking that up, putting it back on the sheet, and I'm putting a pencil there. Right. Oh gosh, too many books. Too many books on the desk. All right, so do we want it full or do we just want partial and if we want partial do we want it the eraser end I think we want it that end and we want it that way and then I'll just chop off the end and it can go over the edge I know it's weird but it goes it goes and I can't do anything about that it goes with the whole theme of the spread. So we're going with it. Now, what I think it is, is I need that squarer so that it's not thick on one end, but straight. All right, and then we need to find some different, that might be where I bring in more of these, wherever the hell they were. I feel like that needs to go there. So this is my appointment. And I'm just going to switch that and put reminder on the top because one, I feel like brings in the pencils and two, it's more of a reminder than a to do. Just my opinion on that one. All right. So what are we going to do about this snack? here. Do we want to bring in more of the pencils? And if we bring in more of the pencils, what colors do we want it to be? Because I bought in a little bit of this blue. So could I use the blue one down at the bottom? I actually feel that might be what it needs to break up the pink because it felt a little bit like pink, 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 pink down here. So yes, let us do that. If you were doing this spread, I want you to tell me if you would be bothered by the fact that it was like pencil, eraser, eraser, and then on the other one, pencil, eraser, pencil, because that would bother me. I have to have some symmetry. All right. And bear with me. What I'm going to do is these ends 
I'm going to use them as like a to-do list. See, now I've had this, I kind of want to put those there. Like that. Like that. Yeah, I do. I want to do that. And I know it's a really silly little detail. And I know I looked all that time for a to-do list type thing. My plan for this was to just show you that if something like this pencil says lesson plans on it, don't think about it as a pencil. Think about it as separate little bits. And how can you use those separate little bits to make a cute spread? That's just something a little bit fun. And if you're a teacher and you want a spread that is based around teaching or back to school, this will be a great back to school spread. Just saying. Just tooting my own horn there, but I'm just saying. All right. So I think we've got enough pencils in there. So let's look for more boxes and fun stuff. I feel like I want to bring in a couple of the colors. So I'm going to bring in this plan, plan, plan somewhere at the beginning of the week because that's when I like to do most of my planning. I don't like you guys. Um, and as these are the one and a half inches, I'm going to bring in a box and I think I want it to be the blue one somewhere because I feel like I need to bring this blue and it's now it's here. So I feel I need to bring it over here somewhere. So let's put that down too. We need to bring that in. I'm just looking at these stickers and I keep coming back to them. I'm just like, how can I make these work down here? Could they? Maybe. I'm just going to leave that one as is. We'll see. So, when you th see things like this, class party, well, I don't have class parties. And to be fair, I don't have parties at all, you know, past that time of life. But class, I have. I have yoga class. So I'm going to cut that up and put that there. So I teach a yoga class on Zoom on Wednesdays. And what I feel is I need to bring in some of this scripty thing. I know I've got this one here but I feel like I need to bring it in as well somewhere up here. So what I'm looking for now is a box that I can, oh, so now I'm, automatically solving my own problems here, which I like. So I want this and I want this. So I'm gonna put this in here. Do I wanna put it up or do I wanna put it down? So I want to put this like this and layer it so I can write yoga above it. So I'm just going to put that in there very lightly and then just tuck the box underneath. Now, this was one of the boxes that said like assignment or homework or something underneath it. So I will just write in there yoga and the time, um, which is at 9.30. If anybody's interested in joining me for a yoga Zoom class at 9.30 on Wednesdays, then let me know. Ooh, I've just seen this. Tax day. I'm going to use that next month. Lipstick day. Oh, these are fun. These are fun. I didn't notice these before. Sticker day. I think I missed that one. So I've got this that I feel I need to bring in. Creativity is intelligence having fun. I need, I think I need it down here, but that's not, it's not what I need down there. It's not the the sentiment that I need down here. Okay, so this has wake up, 
teach kids be awesome now i don't teach kids i teach adults so if like me i mean i teach yoga but if like me you you taught something you can just put wake up teach cut that bit off it'd be awesome if you don't teach wake up cut cut be awesome wake up be awesome either way wake up be awesome that is what we all need to do so i'm just cutting kids off there that sounds terrible so i'm just cut the kids off and then i'm going to put that down and i'm tempted to put that for monday but i'm also tempted to put it for wednesday but i want to leave myself a little bit of space so no let's put it for monday it kind of bothers me that that goes over both but we're going to deal with it see wake up teach be awesome so monday is i have um mostly clients so it's a big client day so um yeah that is at for my mondays okay I wanted to bring in this, so maybe I bring that in here and lap them a little bit. And then I've left myself a little bit of space here to journal, space here. But now I've bought this and I feel I need one down here, which is annoying because I don't remember which book I got those out of. That is exactly the same sheet, just duplicated. Okay, so it doesn't really matter which sheet I take those off. Other than the fact I have a couple more options. If I was going to put another one of those in, would I want it here? And if so, what color? I'm thinking something blue down here. But I've used all of the blue ones, so that's not an option. I need some of this color down here is what I need. So let us come into this book. That's a slightly different shade. Would it be farther away that enough that I wouldn't bother me? Maybe. And I do feel like I need to bring in some of this shape. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to, I'm going to do it because I need to. I'm going to do that. I'm just going to overlap those. Be done with those. And I might bring a pink in here. So if I put this in, it's going to like hang off the edge. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut that there and just use three. And just use three. It kind of bothers me that it's not the same width all around. Because that's the way my brain is. And now that I've seen the other one that's a darker color, I want the other one that's a darker color. I want that one instead. Ooh, that actually fits in the box a little better. Typically, Wednesdays is a big, like, workout day for me. Um, Tuesday is when I film a lot of my yoga classes, my yoga my yoga videos. But Wednesday, I also have my, my class, but I also do my own workout, so it ends up being quite a heavy day. So let's have a look for something of this and another one like this. It needs to go there. I feel like that kind of offsets this line. If that makes sense. I hope it does. I hope it does. The me time is going to go down in here. So the other way that you can cover these stickers is you just put something else straight on top of it. I don't know about that being a yellow right next to the other yellow. It's bothering me. Maybe it's not yellow. 
different color. I do like that yellow. That's the problem. Didn't know how much I liked yellow. All right, what other colors have we got? This is going to be a long video that I am going to have to edit. So true to fashion, I've got completely distracted and I've seen something else that I want to do. Once I find them again. Okay, so there are these. And there's like two pages of them. So the ones that say plan, I can definitely use. Um, prep even, but the quiz today, grading, test today, I'm not going to use. But as my goal was to show you how to use stickers that you're not going to use or otherwise, I'm going to show you how to use those. So first thing I'm going to take is the yellow one that says copy. You're going to take that sticker, you're going to cut it as close to the word copy as you can, and then you're just going to layer it so you give yourself a little fat um, flag. I feel like this is an especially long video just because of all the cutting of stickers that I've done. But seriously, make the most out of your sticker packs. Now, of course, the other thing that you could do if you had these and you weren't going to use them is if you know a teacher, just give them to your teacher friend. Even if they don't use them, they might use them in the classroom. Kids always love stickers. All right, and I'm gonna end on the blue. So this one says quiz today. I'm just cutting the quiz off. That would be a perfect today little flag. Now it just says today. All right. And now I feel like I want those down here, but Let's not sticker it to death. Mm, oh, I've got these. Got these. I was going to say I felt like I needed something over here, but I didn't want to make anyone crazy. I'm just going to put that there. I may put a box underneath that. I think that's where that yellow one comes in. This one's going to be tricky because I'm going to have to put it kind of level. Bear with me. That'll do. That will do. Okay. And then I'm going to put this one down here. That will be my focus for that day. I do like to have a box on most days, so. So like this, I feel like I want to put it there, but then that's opposite this. And I could lift this up and shove it further down, but I'm not going to. I've got this little strip that I could put in somewhere. I want to put that there. Yes. So that was just the little bit that was left over from this. And then all I have left is a little thing that says don't stress, which is kind of ironic. Um, oh, and the plan, plan, plan. is going down there because that's when I usually plan for the next week and then don't stress all right so that is my spread 
for the week of the 21st. I know it's a little bit weird and you might be thinking, what the hell? She's done a spread about pencils, but it's fun. It's functional and I will use it. I love the bright colors in these. Um, so yeah, this would be a perfect back to school spread. Great if you're a teacher and you want something kind of teachery themed, it's a great way to use that book and bring in items, but it could also, don't think about it as being pencils and back to school. Think about it as colored pencils and creativity and art and things like that. Don't think about, you know, the, the linear aspects of a teacher book or a student book. Think outside of the box. Think outside of the sticker book. All right, my friends, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, then give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. And I will see you next time, my planner pals. Bye.